Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at percentage change. This is around about grade three. Please do download the worksheet, have a go at the questions. Let's go on to question number one. Now, this is a very traditional type of question. So Satna buys a house for that. She sells it for that. Calculate the percentage profit. So with... Um, the interest of speed on these videos, I'm not going to write out the actual calculation all the time. However, the main equation that you need to remember is difference over original multiplied by 100. And that will give you your percentage change. So the difference is the difference between what she bought it for and what she sells it for. And then the original is what she actually bought it for. You'll see what I mean as we work through this question. So the difference in this particular case is going to be the difference between 195,000 take away what she bought it for is 182,000 divided by what she bought it for 182,000 pop all that into a calculator and you should get 7.14 percent okay so difference over original multiplied by 100 is a great way to remember percentage change and we're going to use that all the way through this particular worksheet so let's move on then to question number two OK, so in question number two, again, a very typical type of question that you're going to get where we've got Edward pays that in 2020, then he pays that in 2021, work out the percentage increase. So again, I'm going to write difference over original. I'm going to multiply that by 100. So the difference is going to be the difference between that and that, which is actually going to be 550 minus 465, all divided by original of 465, multiplied by 100. And when I put that into a calculator, I should get 18.3%. Okay, just a point here that with these questions, they generally ask you to answer in significant figures or decimal places. So have a look at your calculator, and then you need to work out whether what numbers you actually write out. If you're not sure about any of that, put me a note in the comments and I'll send you through a playlist that will give you some idea of how to work with decimal places, significant figures. Okay, on to question number three. Okay, so question number three is a population question. Again, very, very popular for these sorts of questions. Um, and we're looking again at difference over original multiplied by 100. Okay, so it was 445, it's now 521,000. So I can write that as 521,000 minus 445,000, all divided by 445. 000, zero, zero, multiplied by 100, put that in your calculator, and you should get, in this particular case, 17.1% as your particular answer. So in other words, population increased by 17.1% over that one year period, which sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Okay, so let's move on then to question number four. Okay, so question number four, we've got now, um, last year, George paid uh, 891 pounds for a season ticket to his favourite football team. This year it has to pay. So I'm not going to get involved in favourite football teams, but of course, well, you know, Leeds United. Okay, so let's move on to that particular question. Again, not so difficult. We've got difference over original multiplied by 100. The difference between 891 and 955 is going to be 64. It was 891. Put that in your calculator, 7.19% to three significant figures. Okay, so the first four questions are not too bad. Question number five is a percentage loss. Now, this is where it's just a little bit tricky, but we're going to use exactly the same idea. So you'll see what I mean as we work through question number five. So please do stop the video. Have a go at this particular question. Okay, so number five is Kazim buys an MTB bike for 1,200 quid. After one year, he sells the bike for that. Okay, work out his percentage loss. So again, I'm going to put difference over original multiplied by 100. Okay, so the thing to be aware of is the difference is gonna be the value now 
take away the value as it was then. So it's no different with all the other questions. It's the difference is going to be what it is now to what it was beforehand. OK, so we're going to apply the same principle when it comes to these sorts of questions. OK, so now the value of the MTB bike is 750. It was 1200 pounds and the original value was 1200 pounds. If I put that into a calculator, sorry, multiply by 100, Put that into a calculator, I'm going to get minus 37.5%. So in this particular case, Chasm has made a loss of 37.5% on that particular bike. But I bet he had a lot of fun in the past year. OK, so let's move on then to question number six. OK, let's see what that holds. OK, so number six is just a little bit more wordy. And this particular one is really more about more practical kind of uh, considerations for percentage change. So apart from house prices and MTB bikes, this is somebody who's actually running a business, I guess. They're buying packets of crisps and then they're selling them. Packets of crisps in wholesale and then they're selling them on. So let's have a look and see how that works. Well, it would work in much the same way, but you've just got to work out the amount of money he's made um, if he sells 24 bags of crisps at 99p each. So that's going to be 24 multiplied by 0 0.99. Now, just be careful here. You want to keep this in pounds because the original purchase price was also in pounds. So make sure you keep the same units with all of these sorts of calculations. OK, so that means that if he sold all of the bags of crisps, he's going to make 23 pounds and 76p. OK, so if effectively that's the price he got now, OK, so let's have a look at applying our formula, which is difference over original multiplied by 100. OK, so we've got difference over original multiplied by 100. OK, and what we're going to look at with that is going to be the price now is 23.76. He bought them for a massive discount of £6.50, OK, which was his original price. Multiply that by 100 and put that in a calculator and you get a huge profit of 265.54% on that particular deal. OK, so I don't know whether those sorts of profits are normal, um, but certainly on this sort of pricing, he managed to get a bit of a good deal on that one. OK, so let's move on to the next question. There's a couple of uh, profit type questions in these worksheets, so please do have a look. So we're back to buying a house. House. But in this particular case, uh, Manor Hill has actually bought the house and she's made a loss. OK, so she bought it for 185,000 and then she sold it for 160,000. Calculate the percentage loss. But like we did with Kazim and his MTB bike, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Difference of original multiplied by 100. OK, so the difference is over sorry original multiplied by a hundred okay so the difference is what it is now to what it was then okay so what it is now is a hundred and sixty thousand what it was then is 185,000 and the original price is 185,000. Multiply that by 100, pop it into your calculator and you should get a loss of minus 13.5%. Now I would have thought that's very unusual in the housing market. I guess it does happen, um, but maybe she had to sell in a bit of a hurry or something, but 13.5% loss on that particular house. Okay, I don't think I'd be happy. All right, let's move on then to uh, the next question which is question number eight and again we're back to more practical considerations and somebody is actually running a business and buying chocolate bars okay so Varsha has bought some chocolate bars I'm not sure she's going to make 265 percent profit but let's see what that one works out as okay so again we've got to work out how much she's got now well she sells 20 bars at 85p each so that's going to give her 17 pounds. And then she sold the remaining 30 bars at 50 pounds, a 50p each, which is going to be 15 pounds. So in other words, her now price is 32 pounds. And we're going to use exactly the same formula as we always have done. OK, so the difference over the original multiplied by 100. Well, that's going to give us 32 minus 26 divided by 26 multiplied by 100 and that's going to give us 
percent profit uh, for Varsha selling her chocolate bars. It's probably a bit more like it, really. OK, so let's move on then to the final couple of questions on this particular worksheet. Please do add a comment. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. Uh, so let's move on then to question number nine. So question number nine, uh, again, a little bit more like uh, proper type questions um, where we're actually looking at business. So please do stop the video, have a go at these questions. Okay, so Tom buys um, 1.8 kilograms. So as soon as you see that, you know that he's gonna put 200 grams of button. So let's just change that to 1,800 grams of chocolate buttons. And really what we've got to do, if he puts 200 grams of buttons into each bag, how many bags? Well, there's gonna be 1,800 divided by 900 is going to give us, divided by 200, sorry, is gonna give us nine bags. Okay, so Tom actually creates nine bags worth of chocolate buttons of which he sells each bag and then that would be the now price okay so um he's got nine bags okay and it's 40p so 0.4 so he actually makes three pounds 60. okay so again we're going to use exactly the same formulas we've ever done so difference over original multiplied by 100. Okay, well, the now price is 360. The original price is 320 divided by 320 multiplied by 100 to get our percentage. And that's going to give us a grand total of 12.5% profit. So he's not as good a businessman as uh, Josh or Varsha, but I guess it's a different sort of market. Okay, let's move on to the very final question on this particular worksheet, which is question number 10. Okay, so question number 10, Eshel buys eight pens, uh, or a packet of eight pens, the pack costs £2.50, she then sells two, etc, etc. So two of the pens is two pens at £4.25 is going to equal two times £4.25, which is going to equal £8.50, OK? And then she sells six pens, and that's going to be equal to six times £3.99, which is going to equal £23.94. Add those two together, and she's actually got in her pocket, her now price, if you like, is £32.44. So we need the same difference over original, divided by no, multiplied by 100. Okay, so if we put that into the formula, we've got difference over original times 100. Well, that's going to give us 32.44 minus her buying price, which was £12.50. And that should be £12.50 there. Okay, and that's going to be divided by £12.50. Okay, so that's going to give us, multiplied by 100, that's going to give us £159.52, 159.52% uh, okay, profit. And that's the end of this particular worksheet. Sorry about that last little bit. I will change the worksheet. Should Her buying price was £12.50. Okay, so I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.